Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a classic, the Case Trapper. So it is by pure chance that I'm reviewing this night because the other day I was walking around my local Walmart and lo and behold, in the sale or clearance section, this guy was there for an amazing low price of $25. So if you go into your brick and mortar Walmart store, you might be able to find one of these uh, synthetic yellow handle trapper by case for $25. Uh, if not, you could go online and purchase this. I went ahead and provided two links in the description box below. One is at Amazon and one's at Walmart. Unfortunately, online, these guys are still going for about 40 bucks. It also may be these guys are getting discontinued. So if you're really interested in this nice, bright, yellow, easy to find in the dark or easy to find in grass or dirt type of handle, you may want to get it right now. So if you get it at Walmart, it's going to come in this plastic packaging. However, if you do get it online, it will probably come in a box. Case knives are very collectible. For me, I don't even use them. I just collect them. They are a very fine knife. Very fine, meaning very high quality. Um, sort of fit together like a expensive English long rifle. And I have all my case knives here. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you my collection really quick. And uh, really nice. Now, you, if you notice, this guy here that was made for Harley Davidson by Case, same type of knife. It is also a trapper, except this one has bone and says Harley Davidson. You could get these with all different types of scales or handles, and they also make a mini version of the trapper. You know, the trapper style or pattern knife is one of cases along with a lot of other knife companies most popular pattern most popular design for case it sort of went back and forth year by year between the stockman and the trapper as being the most popular it's been around for over a century they probably came out I believe in the very late 1800s so this style of knife has been around for a very long time so what's unique to this particular pattern is number one it's a slip joint as you can see here so your blades do not lock also uh, for this particular model there is no half stop in the blades the blades are typically a clip point and a spade blade and both of them pivot from the same size. Some of your old timers might actually refer to this as the jackknife. Uh, my guess is that probably came from or evolved from a pattern that was before the trapper which was called the dog leg jack. So these trapper knives they come in variety of colors different types of handles bone or synthetic or or whatnot er, just everything you can go to the case site and check out all the different ones and you have your nickel silver bolsters right here uh, very handy knife I mean the clip point blade is a good general purpose or all-purpose blade and then of course if you're in the hunting and uh, skinning or castration <laughs> you got the spade blade because that's what the spade blade is. It's uh, it was used by farmers and, and for cattlemen to castrate their cattle. However, it's also because of the rather blunt tip, very good for skinning, or even a, a straight knife to uh, maybe shave with. Well, I have this out here. Both of these blades are three and a quarter inches long. The actual cutting area is about three inches. Close length is four and one eighth inch and again this is the smooth yellow synthetic handle which is very easy to find so imagine if this were grass you could see how much that stands out or if it's dirt whereas maybe something like this it's not going to quite stand out as much if you dropped it you know in in dirt so it's really nice that's why i do sometimes like these bright colored knives because when you're out there camping and stuff it makes it easy to find you won't lose it uh, I know a particular hunter I won't mention the person's name who actually lost knives and then didn't have a knife when it came time to skidding the deer where 
if the person had something like this, it maybe would have stood out a little more. It would have been easier to find. So you have your uh, nickel silver bolsters right here. They will dull over time, so you could go ahead and get your brass or, or some other polish and shine them up, and they shine up very quickly. You have your brass spacers. I'm going to go ahead and open this up here. And be careful when you open up too that you don't slip and cut yourself there. But you can see you have your brass spacers there. And on the other side you can see how well the fit and finish is on these case knives. They were, that's why they're so collectible. Because they are so well crafted. Just smooth. No gaps. Tight. Notice you have your brass pins right here. And they are nice and smooth. There's You, know, you don't feel it sticking out beyond the scales which is really nice you have the case shield right here now this is not pinned in this is glued the weight of this is four ounces and again I went over the blades being uh, three and a quarter inches long both the clip point and the spay blade cutting area actually is three inches if you go from the shoulder to the tip and again clip point you have your nail nick right here both of the blades have a hollow grind and they're they're very sharp and we'll test out the sharpness really quick and again slip joint so no lock so for countries that don't uh, want you to have or carry a locking blade this is a slip joint however keep in mind blade is three and a quarter inches so make sure you know what your rules are in your country or state before you carry this and the last thing made in the USA I wanted my first video this year to be an item made in the USA and I'm very happy to have come across this great deal. Now Case uses a interesting steel that they call True Sharp Stainless Steel. It's a mystery steel. They're not forthcoming with exactly what it is. However, a little bit of research on the internet uh, shows me that it is you know probably most likely or believed to be 425 M or 420 HC stainless steel and it is typically hardened to about 54 or 56 HRC before we started testing I just wanted to show you real quick some of the engraving on the blades themselves and then I'll show you the spay blade the spay blade has the model number on the shoulder so we'll go ahead and show you that Right there, and you can see USA and the number 3254 for this particular one. And again, you can see USA. Nothing on the other side. Fit and finish. Fit and finish. A lot of the, the cheaper knives of this style by other companies, you'll see gaps between the bolster and the handle material. And again, you don't see that. Sometimes you'll see gaps between the different steels, between, you know, the springs and the spacers. Nothing. I mean, it's just all nice, tight, nice and smooth. No gaps between bolsters and handle on either side. Pins are not protruding. Nice and smooth. And again, the shield, nice and smooth. Here's your blade centering. Um, typically, you won't find these perfect. It's very rare you'll find it perfectly. You can see the, the clip point and the spade blade are not touching the spacer inside. You could tell because there are no scratches. If they were, you would see scratches on the blade, so we don't see anything. So, fit and finish, blade centering, real nice. As far as blade play, nice and tight, no blade play whatsoever. Okay, next we'll go ahead and do a paper cut test. See how sharp this is. Okay, it's barely push cutting, but it did push cut there. But uh, pretty sharp. Feels like there might be some micro serrations on that blade, but definitely sharp enough to cut paper. Okay, since I got a lot of packages that come from um, Amazon, we could go ahead and test out cardboard. And, oops, actually I should maybe get this at a better angle here. There we go. Alright. See right there. So, cuts cardboard with no problem. This is a light duty knife. 
you know it doesn't it doesn't like cut through like butter but it, it definitely gets the job done and let's see if we, we lost any sharpness here but keep in mind this is a uh, rather soft steel on the soft side however because of that it does take an edge very well very sharp if you sharpen it and it's very easy to sharpen so you know a couple of passes on a ceramic uh, rod or stone and it'll be all razor sharp again so light to uh, light medium kind of duty knife last but not least i'm going to go ahead and zoom up just a little bit both blades have a nice sharpening choil right there so if you use a stone you don't have to worry about bumping the shoulder up against the stone very nice uh nice classic design i say nice a lot but i love these classic looking knives they're great because um some environments or, or some places if you pull out that black locking style tactical knife that are black which is 99% of the knives being sold out there some people might get nervous or scared or think you're going all crazy on them whereas you pull something like this out or um, you know just a, a classic old timer kind of knife people tend not to get as excited so if you're in that kind of environment and you, and you don't want to trigger um, a snowflake in your office <laughs> or friend this is a this is a great knife also an, another nice thing about case knives is this is the type of knife that you would pass on through generations of kids to their kids to their kids the last forever um, good warranty made in the USA and it's something you could be proud of and something you could be proud of to give to your kids and pass on and, and it doesn't have to be your son it could be um, your daughter, your wife, that, again, all different colors. Really nice gift if, you, if you're not sure what to get. A loved one, they need to cut stuff. <laughs> it's always good to carry a knife. Uh, I can't stress the importance of having this tool uh, on you at all times as an EDC. Some type of knife, just to, in case of an emergency, if you have to cut a piece of clothing that's stuck in, let's say, a, an escalator. I know there have been cases where people have died because an article of clothing on themselves got stuck in an escalator and then got pulled in and choked them to death. Or let's say you got to get out of your car and you can't undo your uh, belt. You could go ahead and cut it, your seat belt, things like that. This could be a lifesaver as well as opening gifts and presents. It makes it a lot easier than trying to find you know a screwdriver whatever you're using you should be using a proper knife and again keep it sharp because it's usually not sharp knives that cut uh you accidentally it's usually a dull knife so keep it sharp and it'll serve you well so if i missed anything everything's down in the description box below the specs and the stories and uh in the notes i go over the case true sharp stainless steel that we talked about and the uses of the clip and spay blades and i also provided links again to amazon and walmart they're running about forty dollars online uh please use those links if possible they're affiliate links full disclosure right there i do make a couple of sets uh, i do enable ads on my youtube uh, videos as long as youtube doesn't get stressed out about knives like they're doing with guns these days uh again that you know gets me a couple of cents helps pay the bills uh, this camera alone was 800 bucks. <laughs> it served me well for two years, luckily. Computer, uh, all this stuff. You know, this was my own money, too. No one sent this to me for review. This is my honest review of this knife that I bought with my own money. On sale, uh, before you go online to buy it, you should stop off at your local Walmart like I did. And again, in the sporting goods sections, and all the way in the back corner where they have like a clearance section right there 25 bucks so definitely get it there i want you to get the best deal if you're looking for this classic definitely check it out all right well thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear obsession channel i really do appreciate every friend viewer subscriber and of course you and i hope you have a great day or evening take care bye